Hi, my name is John Poole with Global Parts Distributors. Today we're going to be talking about AC condensers. The AC condenser is located right in front of the radiator. The purpose of the condenser is to release heat and change the state of the refrigerant from vapor to liquid. The condenser receives high temperature or high pressure vapor from the compressor and converts it to a liquid through condensation. The AC condenser is constructed of tubing surrounded by cooling fins. The purpose of the condenser is to release heat and change the state of the refrigerant from vapor to liquid. The condenser receives high temperature, high pressure vapor from the compressor and converts it to a liquid through condensation. This condensation leaves the top part of the condenser filled with vapor and the lower part filled with liquid. Because of this, the inlet at the top should be hotter to the touch than the outlet at the bottom. GPD recommends using a temperature tester to make sure that proper heat exchange is happening. If there is not an adequate temperature change from the top to the bottom of the condenser, this normally means that there is a restriction. A restriction in an AC condenser results in high pressure, which will usually cause the AC compressor to fail. Well, typically there are three different designs of condensers. Older model vehicles carry either serpentine, which is the most popular for older model vehicles, and piccolo type condensers. The serpentine design just has one long tube folded back and forth with just a single path for the refrigerant to flow through. The newer designs, which are the parallel flow, have many tubes stacked horizontally connected to a vertical tube at each end. Although the new design of parallel flow condensers increases efficiency, it makes the condensers impossible to flush. Therefore, if the condenser has a restriction, GPD recommends replacing it with a new one. For more tech tips and product announcements, check out gpdtechtips.com.